Hey everybody, it's Fearless Front here again. The following video you're about to see is a video I did a little while ago. The problem that happened was when I edited the video, the file corrupt and really pissed me off. So I got really upset at video editing for a little while and just didn't do any videos for a little while just because of that. So I finally got around to re-editing the video file. I had to change everything completely around. So here's the new video. Some parts of it in the very beginning are missing because those files were complete trash for whatever reason. Um, but I got most of the useful video out of it that I needed to. And to those of you wondering what the hell happened to the Craftsman, nothing happened to the Craftsman. Literally. It's still right here in all its glory of undoneness. But actually, um, I did work on it recently. I'll show you really quick what I did. There's nothing big. I added, or I fixed a belt retainer because it wasn't working. That one's still the same. I added two new ones, which are little bolts welded down into nuts that are welded just to hold the belt on because it was falling off like crazy. Every time I ran it, it would just fall off. Um, you guys saw the exhaust. I haven't changed much with that. It actually sounds really good with the exhaust. But I did add a snorkel intake, which there is a filter down inside there. So this thing's ready for some deep shit. Yeah, I've driven it once or twice, and it goes pretty good. The, the belt now stays on, but the engine runs like shit, so i got to fix that. But that'll be coming up soon. So look for an update on that very soon, and possibly a driving video on it very soon. But this video is about the Murray, and how to rebuild a clutch on your off-roading lawn tractor. So without further ado, enjoy. So that's all pulled off. You get a really good look at a, what makes these Murrays really awesome now. These C-channel frames that run front to rear. And you guys see how hard I romp this thing. And this thing is just as straight as can be, even still. But it looks really cool without all that body fenders and stuff on it. I bet you could uh, really go some places with this thing now. If you could find a place to sit. You can see the original clutch. Well, now she's trying to just lock herself because this thing has no support. There we go. But yeah, the original clutch is just a one way kind of a push on the belt and hope for the best sort of thing going on there. And I got one adjustable idler pulley there. You can see how that thing works. And I used to have one that was on that side, but I removed it. For whatever reason I, i'm sure i had my reasons but i don't remember and uh well honestly it hasn't been doing as well since i did that so i think i want to make a completely new clutch system because this one i don't know it could be better that's for damn sure okay so the further i get this thing apart the more i realize why it was such a piece of shit. um look at this Number one, the whole thing sits at a funny angle. You can see it more when the spring was still here, pulling on this hole. This whole thing picked up like this, and this pulley was not flat. It was at an angle, kind of, kind of like this, almost. So it wasn't really contacting the flat part of the belt. Um, the other thing is, obviously, how much slack that thing's got. It all pivots on this one bolt back here. And that, that's what basically pulls your clutch, this bar. So I definitely think I can do better than the uh, engineers there at Murray lawn mowing equipment. Starting the new clutch. Got that old shit all off there. Um, there you can see my adjustable tensioner pulley from the top. You can see you basically loosen that bolt and that bolt and this thing will slide in or out depending on where you want the tension on your belt it adjusts probably like I don't know it'll go all the way to the inside of this C channel and it's pretty much maxed out in the other direction right now which would be as loose as it could possibly go um, but now we're gonna start the new belt and the idea is I'm gonna have a dual pulley design because what happens is I need to pull this belt this way to make the most contact as I possibly can with this rear pulley 
to get as much friction as I can. But at the same time, I can't pull it too far because if you look where this hole and this hole are, this is where the steering gear drops in and bolts in. So this belt can't basically come over any further than like this right here. So the double pulley clutch, which I've sort of partially made so far, there's one pulley and the other pulley. One's a flat, one's a V. There. That's how that's going to work. Basically, you see how that pulley pushes that belt that way, and that pulley pushes that belt that way. This thing's still fucking hot. It's burning the shit out of my hand. That bolt right there just welded, spot welded there. But this whole thing's going to pivot. You can see how the belt runs through it like an S, and then when I release the belt, or release the clutch, it'll essentially stop touching the belt entirely, where it's just missing this other pulley right here. Alright, so she's roughed on there a little bit. Um, I'm not 100% satisfied with how it's mounted. That's why everything is just still sort of tacked together. But now you can get a really good look as to how this thing is going to work. You can see how both of those pulleys will pretty much do the trick. And that's open. Close. Open. You can see it's just pivoting on that one bolt still. So I'm going to try to make that uh, connection there a little stronger. Making some progress. She's a little bit more stable now. It's a little bit better. Actually, it's quite a bit better. That's been reinforced with some other pieces of metal and lots of welding. Welding that is brought to you by our good friends at Lincoln Electric, the 110 MIG welder. Everyone always asks me what I use. This is what I use. Just a little dude. Little wire feed. So yeah, that's where we are. It's a lot tighter. It seems to be working. As you can see. But now we need springs, need linkage, need belt retainers, Need lots of stuff.